What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, my this break. Anyways, <laughs> so by today's time, y'all can see that we well by by the look, y'all can see that we are doing a sit down video today. And today's theme of the video is freshman advice. So this video is for upcoming freshmen, even high schoolers, like you know, but mostly for freshmen. Now, freshman year is just like <laughs> freshman year is cool. Um, I'm doing this video because I am a junior now. <laughs> I'm a junior now, so I just feel like it's so convenient to do this video. So, yeah, and part two from my other channel, but you know, yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, y'all. So really, um, genuinely, I don't have nothing right now. <laughs> I was just going off stuff that I know now. That way I could know that it's authentic and real. You know what I'm saying? So I should be thinking in my mind, basically. So my rules, people can have different rules than me, but this is what I feel like, you know. This is also things I wish I knew in high school. But this is also for freshman advice. So the first thing I want to say is be yourself, right? Go in that building and look like money. Like feel like money yourself because if you don't be yourself like what are you doing like first of all and also if you just go to high school as this fake kid this oh oh my mama oh my mama like you know stuff like that like don't do that that's not cute this for boys and girls that's not cute that's not you know uh just be yourself because then again if you find a friend and if your friend don't like you for yourself you're gonna have a hard time in high school first and foremost secondly you don't want to keep faking like your whole freshman year like and then come as a new person when you grow up. People gonna be like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? And people get used to versions of you. So I feel like be yourself. Number two, I'm just thinking of somebody. Stay focused in high school. Let me tell y'all, my freshman year, I was not focused. I was focused on news. <laughs> I was focused on boys. I was like, what? So many, what? That, that's how I was feeling back in freshman year. But uh, these dudes and these females are not going anywhere. You have time. Oh my God. So stay focused. Like if you're in the sports, stay focused on sports. But your grades in school comes first. Like your credits and everything, they come first before anything. Especially when it comes to being in high school. So yeah, I feel like with um, staying focused, it's just like, it's a priority. And you have to keep a mindset of being focused. Because if you don't, your high school year is good. You know, number three is have a plan. Oh my God, have a plan, right? Just stay organized. We, that goes with planning. But what I mean by have a plan is just simply you know what you're there for. You know what I'm saying? Just simply know your goals for high school. Because if you do not know your goals, you're like, you're, you're not there. <laughs> Not like that, but like you have to have a goal for high school. You have to be like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be this when I get out. You know, just make your way up into being a senior. You know, take care of your business. Number four is get into curricular activities. Curricular activities really help your high school years because you do not want to be you no know, bored freshman, right? But it's a lot of times where tryouts and stuff are in the summer and you just don't know about it. Say, so, I mean, this is a new school or something like that. It's always best to go ask. Go ask the coaches. Figure out who the coaches are. Talk to your teachers about it. Talk to your gym coach. All of that. And I guarantee you're going to find a solution. You're going to be able to do it. So being a curricular activity because those do help. 100% those do just help you um, mentally. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes that can be mentally draining. But say this, you going through something. I'll be, be like, oh my God, I want to go join this. I want to go join club. I want to go join theater. I want to go join dance. You got to play. Plus, it be fun when it's like football season, pep rally season, concert season. Everything is just fun. Now, with me, I started dancing soft. Well, the end of freshman year, I wanted to do it in the beginning, but I was stuck in the, it was tryouts in the summer type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, I just say, ask about it. Because that's what I get. Ask about it. But, yeah. New season, junior season. 
<laughs> okay, anyways, I'm gonna pop number five, right? Five is consistency. This goes to stand fuckers, but consistency. You have to be consistent in high school. If you're not consistent, you will not have a good year. Especially when it comes to the end of the year and you trying to pass your grade. Be consistent in the beginning while you got it. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. Being consistent involves keeping up with your grades. Keeping the same grade pattern. Oh, my God. That is hard in high school, but you have to try. Um, consistently. First of all, consistently praying. You have to pray in high school. I don't care what nobody say. Just pray. Consistently be yourself. That goes with a lot of stuff. Um, keep a consistent. Keep everything about you consistent. Cause if you just sit up here and just like, you know what I'm saying? If you sit up here and just go different, 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 that's not, that's not cool. That's not gonna be okay, babe. That's not gonna be great. I just feel like don't do that. Stay consistent. <laughs> Number six is be observant, right? You can go for a lot of things. Be observant with your teacher, with your friends. Oh my God. Girlfriend, boyfriend, be observant. So be observant of everybody. Be observant of the building, everything. Because if you're not observant, you're going to be confused. You're going to be like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all now, a lot of friendships, relationships, everything goes down drain for real. But if you're lucky enough to find your high school sweetheart, your little best friend, how cool. Who to you? But a lot, of people, a lot of people are just fake. And a lot of people don't know what they want. And you have to be observant. You have to know your friend group you have to know who you want to be with who you want to do this with this and the third you got to know their actions their demeanor their aura so i feel like be observing and then with the building part once you're observing with the building you're going to know the building <laughs> i feel like this is a bit when you're observing in the building you, you'll know what to do you'll know what to expect from the building you know same thing with people like you know what i'm saying just be observe observe pay attention there we go. Pay up attention. <laughs> Am I on number six? I guess six, seven, whatever. Number six, stay hygiene together, men and female. Keep that hygiene. First of all, do not go in high school stink. Like, that's not okay. Do not go do that. Because if you send a pretty stink, ain't nobody going to get talked about, friends. And, you know, you still got some immature people making uh fake pages, making a uh, shade room pages. You'll be on there. Keep that hygiene together. Make sure you have your deodorant on. You can spray some cologne. You want to just have an extra smell. You know what I'm saying? It's always nice. <sighs> Take a shower. So I just feel like be consistent. Be consistent with that hygiene. Uh, yeah, especially if you know you have gym or dance or band. Whatever has to have you moving. Yeah. Go ahead. Get the hygiene together. Stay. So yeah, just keep that hygiene up. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure y'all y'all know how to keep your hygiene up. <laughs> but <laughs> but um yeah, so just keep that hygiene together. Cause why? Why would you not? <sighs> Stay out the mix, y'all. Please. Stay out the mix. Do not. You know, being that mix, that mix is dirty. <laughs> that mix is dirty. Do not go be in the mix. Like that mix. Mind your business. They got people business. People are crazy. <laughs> They're like animals, you know? Like, yes, yeah, stay the mix. Do not. If you see a girl about to go beef, do not go beef with that girl. Do not go say no to that girl. Mind your business. Like, just don't don't be in nobody's shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be in nobody's business. Stay out the way. Do not ever talk about somebody with somebody that you do not know. It's not good to talk, talk about people, but you know, sometimes... <laughs> You're still a kid. <laughs> You're gonna talk about people's stuff. But do not do not put your input on shh. Okay? Cause guarantee you don't be in that mess. And if you look back, you're gonna be like, what the fuck did I just do? You know what I'm saying? Stay out the mix. Do not be in the mix. Keep yourself. You know, people suck as a whole. People just suck. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is number eight. <laughs> or number Carry yourself well. This is about hygiene. It's about your aura, your demeanor. Like I said, from a male, do not go be a little hoe. From a girl, do not do not go be a little hoe. Please don't do that. Uh, please do not be rushing to have sex. Don't rush into none of that because I'm ready. But no, do not do not rush to be nothing. 
Uh, if you're a female, do not go get a train ran on you. What's wrong with you? Think like, do not go. Now, sometimes with the homeboy thing, <laughs> do not go be with nobody. Do not do not go date the whole friend group, men or female. Do not go date the whole friend group. That's not okay. Do not walk around here acting ghetto, yelling at seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. What's wrong with you? Are you mentally like you know? Don't do not be that girl. Do not be that boy. That's nasty. That's not cute. That is not okay. Right, right. So yeah, <laughs> don't go do that. Do not, do not be that type of person. Um, do not walk around here and just play fight no different niggas. Like that's not cute. Like to me, that's not cute, friend. Do not just go around here and think. Do not go around here with a bad attitude. Carry yourself well. That people just be like, oh, oh yeah, I, I know about safe. I know about Maya. Maya don't do this. Maya don't do that. Like you want people to just not know you. Like you know what I'm saying? So just. Carry yourself, right? Okay, this is my personal favorite. Be unknown. Yeah, people may know you. People may, but you don't want people to know of you. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody in your business. Uh, now, you might run into a little relationship situation shit where it's like somebody will tell your business or something or somebody make up some rumors about you, but you're supposed to not believe that. You're supposed to just stay out the mix. Be unknown. Like, you don't want nobody to just know you like that. That's not. You don't want to be known around school. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, she was a little hoe. She was this, she was that. You don't want that. So I just feel like, stay out the mix. <laughs> First impressions. <laughs> Not saying that it matters to anybody, but like your impression on yourself, but like you want to walk in there like, like you that, or you that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like walk in there confident. Walk in there like you're confident. Walk in there like nobody can with you. Cause like, can't nobody with you. Like, right. With your head high, think like, oh yeah, I'm that big. I'm like, I'm like, don't 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 walk around saying it, but like walking there with confidence, like have a schedule, like especially after school. After school, have schedules, like okay, I'm gonna do this. I know this is better said than done, but just try. Just have a schedule, like oh, I'm, I'm gonna get my homework done. Oh, I'm finna um study, like schedule for after school and before school and during school. I, also, like you know what I'm saying, you to know your schedule because. Once you get to, I feel like memorize your schedule on the first day for real. So you won't be in the hallway just looking at paper and like. In my school, ain't nobody just pay attention to that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to be that fresh. <laughs> seniors, oh my God. Y'all please do not date no senior. They just want the goodies. They just want your goodies. They, they just want you and leave. Like, <sighs> don't do it. They might be fine. They might be. <laughs> Thank you fine, but it's like, do not do that, friend, because that's gonna hurt you, babes. Mm -mm. You don't wanna that. Don't need no senior. Don't need that no <sighs> Whoever you date, just be observant. <laughs> be observant. Get to know your teachers and gain a relationship with them. Gaining a relationship with teachers is lit. Some of them be, act some of them be switching up. But... If you if you get closer to the teachers, they're gonna change your grade. They gonna help you fast. <laughs> they gonna uh, they gonna do a lot of stuff to help you get your ass think like for I'm telling you, be close to your teachers. Uh. <laughs> but like be observant with those teachers though. Rumors, right? Rumors are gonna happen. You're gonna at least have one rumor your high school year. If you know it's a rumor, do not even react. Cause if you react, people gonna be like, dang, this shit must be true on some shit like. Don't react to it. It's not worth it to react to. So I feel like, yeah. So other than that, rumors are rumors. Like it's gonna happen. Like you don't even just be like, oh, like you know, as much like as soon as you don't know, talk about it, they're gonna be like, oh, it's gonna go by. Like just don't even say nothing to say nothing to nobody about it. And this one is do not fight. Fighting is not cute. Fighting is not okay. If you if you know you're not supposed to be fighting, do not fight. First of all, if you know you got like personal issues, do not fight. That can make your life worse. Sir. Um, if you have to fight, fight. Somebody put their hands on you, beat them. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> um. Also, like if you don't have to fight, do not fight. That's not cute. That's like a bad reputation. You're gonna look back and be like, what? Like it's a lot of things you're gonna look back on in high school. And be like, why did I do that? So yeah, do not fight. That's not okay. Um. Uh, arguing is not okay. Do not argue with nobody. Because if you know your worth and stuff, you'd be like, I don't even got time for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
be different, right? No, I'm saying be different. Be different from everybody. Like, you have to be different. You do not want to be the same as nobody. You do not want to just copy nobody's style, nobody's swag. Like, be different. Like, as much, like, as, as more as you be different, the more people going to realize you. Like, oh, my God. Like, you want a good reputation in high school. Do not have no bad ones, please. Just be different. Like, with your clothing style, like, all that. Do not. Do not dress like nobody. Do not talk like nobody. Just be different. Be yourself. Be different, though. Other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Hopefully, that makes sense. Do not waste your time, right? Don't waste your time on petty stuff. Don't waste your time on no other person. Don't waste your time just not being focused or not worrying about your grades. Do not waste your time in beef. That's not... That's time wasting. Be focused and be ready to get a job because you're 14 now. 13, 14, whatever. I think 14. But it's like you're 14, you get a job. Be focused on that. Try to get a job. Try to go in driving school. Just, you have stuff to do, so do not waste your time because you have to get ready for it. It's the real world. So, yeah. So, keep up with your supplies. Keep up with your backpack. Keep, keep up with your computer because I don't lost my computer several times. But I ain't really, I ain't tell nobody that. But like, now y'all know. But, yeah, keep up with your stuff. Like, it's important to keep up with Like, for real. Be organized. Like, you don't ever want to lose your homework. Lose your papers. Lose your study papers. Lose your notes. You don't ever want to lose none of that. So, just keep up with everything. Especially your hygienic things. Keep up with all of it. Yeah. It's the last one. I, okay, my, my number one, if I could, is have some earphones, y'all. Oh, my God. Have airpods because people can't see it especially if your hair is in the way yeah have airpods i don't prefer the wire ones i prefer wireless have some type of wireless headphones walk in that hallway don't listen to sh you see some drama you see somebody yelling but just don't be don't be disrespectful with me <laughs> but have some earphones or something because every time i don't, don't want to hear nobody i don't want to talk i don't want to talk Leave me alone. Like, that's how I be feeling. And if you're sad, you're mad, somebody just makes you mad. Because music eases pain. Those were my high school advices, my high school tips, things I wish I knew, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I first went to high school, you know what I'm saying? So, hopefully this video helped all of y'all. Hopefully y'all will enjoy y'all freshman year or y'all more junior year. But y'all know, big class 2025, 2025. It's junior, so make sure y'all stay tuned for all these back to school videos, all these back to school vlogs, all of that. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for you to be your best self. You are your best self. And y'all will see y'all in my next video. Perk. Bye.